Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. Oh, I gotta get OBS going. Anyway, hi, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer, and uh, we're gonna play a game. It's like bedtime almost, yet here I am, about to start playing a game. Oh man, I got all this crap. I keep getting distracted. I'm doing a video! <laughs> so I'm using my Canon Vixia uh, camcorder for this. Just got a power cord for it, which I'm really stoked about because trying to do this show without a power cord just chews up the batteries for some reason. You guys have given me uh, some feedback on, on, on the show and I, and I want to take that to heart because I really want to make this show something interesting and special on the channel uh, because gaming is important. It keeps your brain in check and sharp as a button and it like keeps you moving forward when there's like tons of um, terrible, terrible things that uh, you might not want to deal with. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Hey everybody, all right, so I've already done that. All right, let's, um, we're gonna play a game. Um, I already played a little bit of it. It's called Balance City. And uh, I thought it was pretty rad. Played a little bit of this the other day. Um, I actually tried to record an episode <laughs> with this. And it didn't seem to happen. Not the game, but my uh, recording setup. I take pride in, in my channel looking and feeling and playing nice, being good. So I, I was intrigued when I played this game because I, I was like, Damn, here's an interesting concept. And I was really excited about playing it uh, on the channel. And here's the other thing about it. I don't know if I like this game or not, but I think it's interesting. Um, so there's a power plant. And uh, and then we have, we're gonna put some, um, some buildings out here, right? And they need jobs, otherwise they're slums, you know? We're gonna build my house on the backs of the working class. <laughs> nah, not really though. Sometimes I wonder if my neighbors um, think that I'm weird because I occasionally will have maniacal laughter coming from my apartment. <laughs> have I mentioned I hate living in an apartment? It's great. This is a fun little game. Um, I haven't really got much farther than this because you know, you can build a police station, which is nice. You get helicopters at that point, where you can put out fires. Uh, I'm gonna build a fire department right there, on top of the smokestack. It helps curb pollution. Not really. But we got roads now, see, like this. And we want to build, you know, some offices. And I don't want to build too far out here, because if I build too far out, it'll start to tip like that, you see. Then we want to also build some homes. Build some homes right here. See that? It's not- why is it saying not connected? That's weird. Is it too far from other roads? I don't... See, there, the game doesn't really come with many instructions. Good game, interesting concept. If you know how to play it, let me know. See, there's free build, missions, scenarios, load city, settings, right? But I don't, you know, click mission. Oh, first steps. Hey, Mayor Academy. Let's, let's try this. <laughs> Every time you build a star building, your height limit will rise. At 500, 750, 1000, and so on, you'll be able to build another star building. I'll advise you to build a power plant ASAP. So there is a tutorial. <laughs> I haven't played it though. I didn't think there was. So we're going to move on. <laughs> Time recoil. I tried to record an episode when I was playing this game. Basically what happened was I made fun of the game's story really bad. Talk to this dude. Don't care. We're gonna go back into the tr wormhole here. We're gonna go kill some guys. This is basically what happens if, uh, if Hotline Miami has like badass Matrix stuff. Pulse lasers. Use slow down or dash through the pulse lasers. Okay. Close. Yeah. So what's cool is you charge up your energy, and then you can do cool stuff like, uh, oh, I don't know, like this. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. <laughs> All right. So now we've charged up. So you can't go through walls like this. You can tell because they've got like little blocks on them. And we'll press E. Pressy. 
pressy. All right, the doors are open. Is that a guy I gotta kill? I think so. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Kill. Oh, I'm sucking right now. The the thing that I like about this game is that it's not very hard, uh, it, but it is it's incredibly fun to play. See, and you can like you can just come in and, and slaughter. You can see this little reticle around your dude. So if you fill up your the little skulls around the outside. Um, so if I get this guy here, then I get like a, a cool thing that can like fill a room full of death, <laughs> which is nice. I don't know. I don't know why, but this game is like really pleasing. Um, the feedback is just is really like on point. Sometimes you need a key to unlock a door. Yeah, I know that, buddy. See that? That's what happens when you use that. The weird, one weird thing that happens is if you kill someone, their bullets despawn, which is, that's like definitely a unity thing. <laughs> Heh <laughs> yeah. Dude, kill that guy. <laughs> See, that, that kind of stuff makes you feel like really powerful and cool, you know? I like it. You also have melee attacks, which I don't use that often. Being and lining up shots too is really cool. Oh my god. One of the things that annoys me about this game is if you die, even if you're like right at the end, there's no checkpoints. Um, same with Hotline Miami, but at the same on the same note, Hotline Miami is like meant to be brutally difficult. This game is just easy, so like when when you uh end up <laughs> why is that so fun so anyway this game is brutally easy so when you uh inevitably end up like mopping up the game and then you make a dumb mistake like for example getting shot by the last guy on the map you have to restart and play the easy level all over again which isn't you know it's not bad but that's just, it's just tedious it's like come on you know I got a hold E for wormhole. I have an extra red key. Hmm. Okay. Hold E for wormhole. Ready? So, now that I beat that level, I don't have a whole a whole lot else to say about this game. All right, guys. So, um, I've had fun tonight. I hope you guys have too. Um, pretty excited about this format. I think it's it's cool to, to play a couple games for like an hour. I'm gonna edit it down maybe ten minutes. And uh, you guys can uh, let me know what you think. I might use this format to do open source games too. I know some. I know a lot of people are wanting me to do that, so I'm probably gonna do that. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends. Make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button because you know you want to see more of this stuff. Um, you can also uh, make a uh, monthly contribution over on Patreon and LibrePay. Um, the LibrePay is like Patreon, but it's like open source, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter, at the Linux Gamer. I'm also on Instagram. I post lots of selfies there, so if you think I'm cute, you can follow me on Instagram. You don't have to think I'm cute to follow me on Instagram, but you can. I can't wink. All right, I'm done. Have a great night, everybody.